The battle for Afrin erupted just after the declaration of the US in January 2018 to form a new Kurdish-led militia which consists of a 30,000 strong border security force between Syria and Turkey. The Turkish side considered the American policy a bold step that threatens the national security of Turkey and vowed to suffocate efforts to begin training members of the Syrian Democratic Forces SDF and create what the president of Turkey Erdogan called a terror army. The the Syrian government also decried the blatant attack on its sovereignty and Russia warned it could lead to partition. Consequently, Russia who had a military presence in Afrin has turned a blind eye to the incursion of the Turkish army and its proxies into Afrin. The strategy was to practice pressure on the US and behind them the Kurds in order to get concessions. Unsurprisingly, the American administration abandoned their Kurdish allies in Afrin because the area doesn't represent a geopolitical importance for the US, as is the case in eastern Syria, particularly in Kamishli, Hasake, and the resort, where half of Syria's oil resources exist. However, after more than one month to the Turkish military offensive in Afrin, it seems clear to any observer that the goal of Turkey is not only limited to combating the Kurdish militias in Afrin, but rather to connect Azaz and Jarablus to the city of Idlib. The Kurdish leadership in Afrin reached belatedly the conclusion that they cannot repel the Turkish incursion alone. Therefore, they called for help from the Syrian government, but Damascus had its sovereign demands. One, Kurds should hand over their weapons to the Syrian government and join the Syrian army. Two, Kurds should hand over state institutions to the Syrian government. The negotiations were mediated by Russia and Iran, but both sides couldn't reach a comprehensive deal. That explains the decision of Syria to send Syrian popular forces and not the Syrian army units to Afrin. The Syrian state TV said on February 18th that these popular forces in Afrin will support locals in facing the aggression launched by the Turkish regime on the area since January 20th. The reporter of Syria TV said that the arrival of popular forces will strengthen the locals' resilience and resistance against the Turkish aggression which targets infrastructure, public and private properties, and economic and services establishments. Will the popular forces alongside the Kurdish fighters be able to repel the Turkish incursion into Afrin? The answer to this question depends on the results of the ongoing negotiations between the Syrian government and the Kurdish leaderships. But we believe a comprehensive deal between both sides could lead to sending reinforcements from the Syrian army to Afrin and turn the table on Erdogan's tacit strategy. Until then, Syria is exposed to many military and political upheavals which would shape the final outcome of the war. I am Kevork al Masiyan from Syriana Analysis. If you like my videos, please hit the like button and subscribe.